In 1988 in Alabama, two young girls chased after a stout child they dubbed Lover Boy in order to trick him into closing his eyes and puckering up before the girls pulled down his pants and as one of them promised to show him what was under her skirt. The boy pulled down his underwear. Everything was going well until an obsessed fan broke into their impenetrable system. Liz, Kylie Atkins' friend, is watching from the other room as she practices for her online show while sitting in front of her laptop. Soon after, Liz enters Kylie's room, where they discuss Kylie's plan to perform online in order to raise money for her studies without adding to her mother's financial woes. Worried about Kylie's well-being, Liz tries to get her to find another job, but Kylie has already made up her mind and is adamant that she will be safe before leaving the Selby College dorm. Kylie claims in a message to her mother Linda that she will leave campus to live with a friend and that she now works part-time for her professor. While Kylie is waiting outside for a limo to pick her up, Gary Preston, the founder and CEO of Girl House, enters. Girl House is a website that sells pre-orient content for the male to enjoy viewing during the ride. Kylie also lies about receiving a scholarship, telling her mother she doesn't need to pay her tuition any longer. Gary reassures Kylie that the location of the house is untraceable and that his team works around the clock to make sure that the girl house could never be hacked when she worries about the security of her job. When they arrive at the girl house residence, Gary also tells Kylie that everything she does is up to her and that nothing is forced upon the girls to do. As they enter, Kylie meets Kat, another resident who abruptly goes to her room, and Gary introduces her to Steve, the man in charge of the residence security along with a man by the name of Big Mike. Gary informs Kylie of the 50 cameras that have been installed in the home, urging her to make use of as many as she can. When Kat returns and overhears their conversation, she notes that Girl House differs from other websites and that it allows its members to view the ladies 24 7 from anywhere in the house. However, Gary guarantees that each girl's identities will be kept secret and that members will not be able to determine where or who the girls are in real life if the girls are recognized. The full experience of watching the girls as if they were living with them. Moments later, Kat shows them around the house and Kylie meets the other girls, starting with Devin. Gary's team will immediately block or delete any attempt to broadcast them. Janet, who is currently performing her online show, is the main draw of the house in her room. After that, Heather, the wildest and loudest of the girls, exits the bathroom. On the third floor, where Kylie also meets Mia Cat's girlfriend, Gary departs as Cat guides Kylie to her room. That evening, Kylie finally performs her first online show while the other girls watch her from their own devices. After dancing for a while, Kylie decides to take off her top and underwear, which prompts 100 of the active members worldwide to switch to watching her. Alex and his roommate Ben Stanley are among the viewers. Gary's team is also watching to check the viewer traffic data. Ben is surprised to see Kylie because he knows her personally, and he tells Alex that he has liked her since kindergarten. When Kat learns that Loverboy is their regular viewer, she sends Kylie a message to congratulate her on her successful performance with him. A mysterious person sneaks past the guardhouse and manages to get inside the girl house residence by unlocking the security system the next day after Kylie logs out lover boy from his basement in Atlantry plays Kylie's video to capture the moment she kissed him. He then prints the image, and on his wall is a collection of photos where he edited himself to be with the other residents of girl house. Since she had nowhere else to go, Anna, a former resident and performer of Girl House who had been banned due to substance abuse, shamelessly entered the house. However, after hearing from Janet that Kylie had taken her place, Anna begged Gary to give her another chance and claimed she was now sober. Gary then sent Janet a message saying that Anna could use the couch while waiting for the next available spot. Later on that day, Kylie had intended to leave for home after her classes, but Ben approached her with the intention of inviting her out for a snack. Loverboy then gets up and moves toward a woman mannequin, kissing and picturing it as a real girl. Ben accepts, and Kylie provides her phone number so that when he realizes the time, he can call her. As soon as Kylie enters her room after leaving for her scheduled one and non conversation with Loverboy, she opens her laptop and logs onto the Girl House website to attend to her client. Kylie kind of expects Loverboy to ask her to take off her clothes, but the man only wants to talk. After talking to Kylie for a while, 
lover boy on the other end of the screen remembers his encounter with the two girls who made fun of him. In order to avoid offending Ben, Kylie continues talking to lover boy after receiving a text from him asking her out that night. However, she becomes concerned when the man manages to send her his picture despite the fact that the system cannot be hacked. While Kylie and Ben are out on a date, Anna sneaks into Kylie's room and discovers the girl's laptop with a picture of lover boy on the desktop. Ben walks Kylie back to the Salby College dorm, and as soon as the man leaves, Kylie calls someone to pick her up. When Kylie gets to the girl's house, she performs another online show that Ben watches on his laptop. The next day, a lover boy is repairing some faulty wiring in an office when he becomes distracted by staring at the legs of an male employee. When the lady notices this, she approaches him to chastise him for preying on women. But when Ben reveals his plan to tell Kylie that he knows about her involvement in Girl House, Alex advises him not to do so as it may be perceived negatively by the girl. Lover boy imagines hitting the woman in the face with a crowbar, but in reality, he just keeps quiet and is composed. Ben and Kylie are out for a stroll in the park that afternoon when Ben finally admits to knowing about Kylie's participation in Girl House. Ben is certain that the guy is watching Kylie only because he wants to have a sexual relationship with her, and despite Kylie's assurances that she is not that kind of girl, he can't help but be concerned. Kylie becomes offended and irately tells Ben that she needs the job to pay for college especially given her father's passing after Ben apologizes and clarifies that he didn't mean to insult or hurt Kylie. The two decide to stay together. While this is happening, Lover Boy arrives at his basement and logs into Girl House right away. Obsessed with Kylie, he searches for her everywhere but can't find her, so he interrupts Devin Shell to inquire about Kylie's whereabouts. Devin grows frustrated with Lover Boy because he keeps pestering the women in the living room about Kylie. After she blocks him, Lover Boy continues to bug the women there, but they only tease him. As Lover Boy wanders around the house, he notices that his picture has been printed and posted on the bulletin board. When he reads the derogatory caption on his photo, he throws a fit and stabs the lady mannequin. He then goes back to his computer, and when Lover Boy finally finds the girl's home, he ignores Steve's warnings against trespassing and advances on the man, stabbing him. Gary watch in helplessness as Lover Boy Steve carries his toolbox into the forest while hiding his body around his neck. As soon as Loverboy enters the house, he uses Gary's phone, which has access to the entire house system. Loverboy enters a room and discovers Anna using something. In the meantime, Devin is getting ready for a show, and while the other girls are preoccupied, Loverboy messes with the communication system inside the house without anyone noticing. To enjoy it, Alex requests a one and on session. But while Devin is preoccupied, Loverboy attacks the girl after pinning Alex to the wall and throwing her to the ground and strangling her with a rope, killing her. When Ben arrives at their Charlotte dorm, Alex shows him the attack in progress in Devin's room right away. But first the two confirm whether the situation is real or just a gimmick. When they realize that no one else in the house is aware of the attack, Ben panics and instructs Alex to call for help while he tries to reach Kylie. Ben tries to call Kylie but is unable to because her phone is in her bag when she arrives at the house. Ben decides to text or email her, but the communication blockage inside prevents either from getting through. Since he can't tell the operator where Devin is, Alex calls 911 and reports the emergency. However, when Alex realizes that help won't arrive, he just hangs up. Then, the lover boy calls for the injured. Devin appears in front of the camera in a live broadcast. Since Salby is in Milton, Alex and Ben watch to see what Loverboy uses an axe to chop off Devin's fingers. Other men from around the world who have witnessed the attack are also frustrated and worried, but no one can do anything to help Devin who is helplessly fighting for her life inside the room unaware of the intruder's presence. So Ben decides to head there to look for other ways to save Kylie, while giving Alex instructions to try hacking into Girl House again and find anything that will lead to its address. Heather and her boyfriend enter a room for some alone time. After watching them silently at first, lover boy charges and knocks down Heather's boyfriend after which he repeatedly hits Heather and shoves a toy into her mouth. After that, lover boy tapes Heather's hands to her face so that she can suffocate, and Janet hears the commotion from Heather's room. When Janet opens Heather's door to check, she discovers a dead Heather on the floor. 
witnesses see the boyfriend of Heather being sought off by a lover boy. Janet attempts to flee right away, but lover boy quickly closes in on her and pushes her over the railings. Janet survives the fall, so lover boy goes downstairs and approaches the injured girl. He also uses Gary's phone to see what the other ladies are doing because he is desperate to find the girl. House location when lover boy sees it through the phone, he immediately ends Devin's chat with Alex. Lover boy then leaves Janet and enters the sauna room without making a sound. Lover boy wedges a crowbar under the door and turns up the heat before destroying the heater controller when he notices the temperature rising. Alex uses the chat room to ask Devin about their address, but because her fingers have been severed, Devin is unable to type it properly. When she gets to the door and discovers that it is locked, Mia goes to knock. When no one answers, she grabs a hot sarna with her towel. When the glass finally breaks, she uses a rock to thrash against the door's glass while also noticing that a crowbar is preventing the door from opening. By dropping the rock on the crowbar, she is able to finally open the door. Escape Mia dives into the pool with haste, but as soon as she spots Loverboy, she can only scream before he sledgehammers her to death. When Kylie passes by her window and notices the boy who loves the pool as an intruder, she goes on to secure the area. When Kylie's email to Ben for assistance is rejected, she views the other rooms to find out what happened to the other girls. Then she destroys the room's camera to prevent the attacker from being able to find her. Before finding Liz, Ben knocks on doors at the Selby College dormitory to see if anyone there knows Kylie. Ben informs Liz of the situation, but Liz is also unaware of the location of the girl house because Kylie has never disclosed it to her. Kylie enters the cat's room where the woman is sound asleep and continues to smash the other cameras. She is awakened by Kylie, who informs her of their dangerous situation. When Loverboy returns to the house, Janet bravely fights him off while lying on the ground. However, her plan backfires, and she is stabbed in the head. When Kylie and Kat notice Loverboy coming upstairs, they attempt to barricade the door with a cabinet, but they are no match for the man's strength, and he successfully breaks in. Kat flees while Loverboy corners Kylie, who recognizes him. After Kat picks up the phone from the floor, Kylie begs her to save Devin despite her desire to flee. Later, as Kylie searches for Devin, Kat encounters Big Mike at the front door and she immediately warns the group that they are in danger. Unfortunately, the lover boy rushes down the stairs, stabs Big Mike in the neck, then slowly approaches the cat with a hammer before hitting her in the head. In the meantime, the police called Ben to let him know they had located the girl's home and that their team was on the way to rescue the women. When Kylie finally locates Devin, who is distressed over her severed fingers and severed face, Devin begs Kylie to end her life. However, Kylie maintains her optimism, and when Devin suffocates herself with a plastic bag when she goes to look for help, the police unit ends up going to the girl house technical team's facility and discovering Gary and the team members' bodies. Fortunately, Alex cracks into the girl house ISB and finds the house's real address, allowing Ben and Liz to move quickly and arrive at the location. Alex also cautions Ben to act quickly because Kylie is the only resident still alive. A lover boy pursues Kylie as she runs through the forest and outside of the house. Fortunately, Kylie is able to elude him and decides to enter the house and hide in the utility room. The man follows her inside, but when he can't find Kylie, he leaves the house and tries to find her using a phone. After obtaining a camera and a pool stick outside, Kylie returns to the utility room where she breaks the pool stick turns off the other cameras, and leaves only one on to trick Loverboy while remaining undetected. She then shows him a note and lures him to the basement after turning off the lights there. When Kylie spots Loverboy there, she silently approaches him and stabs him in the stomach with a broken pool stick. However, when Kylie tries to flee and trips, Loverboy overwhelms her and strangles her. Kylie desperately reaches for the camera and hits the man, allowing her to stand up. She then wastes no time. After that, Kylie Club's lover boy was killed. When Kylie leaves the building, she uses the phone to unlock the doors. When she exits, she runs into Ben and Liz, who have just arrived. Ben gives Kylie a hug. The police and a news crew also arrive, but Kylie declines to be photographed. Ben approaches the videographer to stop him from recording, and Kylie is left with no choice but to take a few deep breaths. Thank you for watching. Why don't you consider subscribing while you're here?
We have the best recaps around and would love to have you part of our community. Thank you and see you in the next one.